I'm Daisy Martinez and this is Latin Cooking 101. You know, one of the most recipes that I get asked for is my guacamole recipe, which is really is easy and a great hit at every single party that I have. Um, to make a really good guacamole isn't uh, rocket science either. It's um, very, very basic. I have here, I started out basically with a pico de gallo. I have two chopped plum tomatoes and a small uh, Spanish onion chopped. And to that, I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic. Now, the traditional guacamole doesn't have garlic, but hey, garlic is my middle name. So I'll take a couple of liberties with the traditional recipe and make it uh, a little daisified. So we have some garlic. And I love, this is my new favorite toy, my garlic press. It just makes, makes small work out of any garlic. And then I have um, a jalapeno. And to this jalapeno, I'm going to keep the seeds and the ribs because you know that's where the fun is. If you don't like um, a very, very spicy, and this is not really spicy because uh, jalapeno pepper isn't really that, that high up on the Schofield units. But um, you, chop it, you chop it up fine. If you, know, you can monitor the, um, the amount of heat that your guacamole has by how much um, jalapeno you add to it. So if you'd rather it not have a little kick, then just cut back on the jalapeno or eliminate it altogether. For me, it wouldn't be guacamole without the, uh, the jalapeno. I just think it makes it more interesting. And for this amount, I'm only going to, um, to add a half a jalapeno because I figure I don't have a lot of um, uh, avocados that I'm using, and so I don't want to blow uh, anybody who's new uh, to Casa Desi. I don't want to, to turn them off. I also have some beautiful green cilantro, beautiful, with delicious tender stems. And to that, I'm going to, let's just do a little housekeeping here, I'm going to add my cilantro, chopped fairly fine. Mmm, I can smell the cilantro already. And the, the uh, cilantro really adds a beautiful, bright green splash to the butteriness of the avocado. And that's what we want in a guacamole. We want some beautiful balance but complexity of flavors. Go ahead. And that's my, uh, that's my guac. Starter, my pico de gallo. And then I have my Haas avocados. Now when you buy uh, Haas avocados, what you want is you want this dark, uh, pebbly skin. And you want to... Press your thumb and if you want to feel just enough give. If it's rock hard, that avocado is not ready for use. Uh, you could put it in a paper bag and leave it on your counter uh, or your fruit basket for a couple of days until you feel that little, that little dent that your thumb makes. So we're going to go ahead and split our avocado. Give it a little twist. Take our pit out and scoop out your avocado. Now what's great about the Haas avocado is that it has a butteriness that lends itself to a really rich guacamole. I wouldn't suggest using um, the big avocados, the big smooth skinned avocados, which uh, are Florida avocados, also known as alligator pears, which are delicious in salads and such, but for guacamole you really do want the Haas. So we have our delicious starter, the pica de gallo with the onions, the tomato, the cilantro, the garlic, and we're going to season that up now with salt to taste, and I'm going to add salt now, but we're going to check that salt again when we, um, when we add the lime juice. Some fresh ground pepper, always fresh ground. And we're going to give that a little toss to mix everything together. And you could just add a little olive oil and citrus juice to this, lime juice, and that would be great with, uh, with chips or... Uh, in a sandwich or a, t a taco, a tortilla. And this is where your pico really sings. There's never any of this left over at a party at my house. Okay, so we have our salsa all ready. And now we're going to mash up our avocado. I'm just going to do that roughly with a fork. I like some texture to my guacamole, so I don't want it to be completely pure. We have a nice chunky avocado mash, and we're going to add our salsa, and then we're going to mix. 
We're just going to fold that whole salsa with the citrus and the seasonings right into that delicious buttery avocado. Mm, doesn't that look beautiful? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to taste. Mm. I think it needs a touch more salt. We'll do that. And the avocado is really buttery, so it really does take in a lot of salt. You want to make sure that you check those seasonings right before you serve it. Now, I hear all kinds of stories about how to keep your um, guacamole from turning uh, colors because, you know, uh, avocado will oxidize and turn black. Uh, people say bathe it in lime juice, which works. P other people say put an avocado uh, pit in the center of the guacamole doesn't work that that well. I find that the citrus that it has in it and then you, if you cover it with um, plastic so that the oxygen can get to the avocado it works fairly well. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to add a little piece of plastic wrap right onto the surface and really tuck it in there so that it's completely protecting the guacamole and then we're going to set this in the refrigerator and it'll be guacamole time in no time.